the attributes of an effective conflict manager. Here we're looking at the personal attributes of a good conflict manager. What characterizes a, a, a good conflict manager? Well, a good conflict manager is to handle and manage things at the workplace. He's got to be in a position to mitigate conflict in the work environment. And he's got to enhance learning processes and overall productivity and effectiveness in an organization. So it's quite a mammoth task in terms of his responsibility, his or her responsibilities, rather. So let's look at some of the attributes that are at hand here that we'll discuss. Let's look at discussing emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is one of the, you know, top most four, uh, top most um, communicated or talked about, uh, you know, aspect in the management environment. Simply put, it's about understanding one's emotions and the emotions of others. So people who have great emotional intelligence have the ability to read emotionally the environment and the people in the setting in and around that environment. They're able to f read into people how they feel about the environment, how they feel about what their jobs, are they motivated, are they demotivated, are they inspired, and that has a great impact on their attitudes towards work and also impacts on their skills and their knowledge. It requires a person of calmness and a person who's able to show empathy person who seeks to understand people in all aspects. A person that's going to avert the possibility of rage, anger, and fear. And it's quite a discipline for that person. It must be in a person who's a, who has the ability to see common causes and links. This person ought to be looking for opportunities of unifying parties in conflict finding common ground so that the creates an environment that's conducive to creating value for the organization or the company or the individual. Conflict managers' roles are catalytical to influencing positive conflict resolutions. And that's why they're there. The manager must have Good, effective communication skills means that the skills must be if both effective and efficient. And communication is a key skill for, for conflict management. Without it, it can be disastrous. Communication skill is the glue that keeps the organization together. The manager must exhibit ability to extract key details for conflict resolutions. His questioning techniques must be above par. And his ability to listen for protracted long periods to what is being said at the same time what is not being said. So a high level of concentration, thorough and meticulous in approach. He or she must be clear, must be concise and on point when it comes to communication. And the communication could be verbal, nonverbal, and how it's articulated or enunciated to the various parties that are involved in the conflict. He or she should have experience. And by experience, we mean general work experience for insight into relationships, leadership, workplace psychology and sociology, and management theory. They must put, it must have a good hand or grasp a good hand on these topics. Relationships, leadership, workplace psychology and sociology, and management theory. They should have a, a positive attitude, great work ethic, show integrity, skilled, both practical and theory and a wide range of knowledge, in particular focus on theory of management and leadership, subject of conflict management, resolution and implementation of conflict. They should have the knack of finding sensible solutions. 
pragmatic in approach and sensible solutions which they are able to, to influence. They should have realistic in solutions to all involved, a great allocation of um, appropriate human capital to assist them with uh, the conflict management and methodical ways of dealing with the tasks at hand. They should be great at negotiating. The ability to negotiate freely and the ability to be to show fairness, no heavy handedness, be firm and assertive, and also produce win win outcomes. There should be people that are able to, that are really good with uh, people analysis, understanding of personality profiling understanding of the diversity in the different uh, personality profiles, dealing with different personalities from top to bottom of the organization, understanding the golden rules that says treat people the way um, they want to be treated, and also being able to elevate to the platinum rule that says treat people the way they want to be treated. So empathy becomes key and critical in dealing with different diversities, uh, talking about different um, cultures, different beliefs, different values, different generations within the organization, whether it be baby boomers or millenniums, the ability to, to, to communicate effectively with a different, um, you know, different environment in terms of the diversity that's within the organization. They should be able to hold positions where they are neutral. In other words, they're impartial. They've, they have the ability to earn the respect and they can be trusted by both management and workers and by anybody within the organization, meaning they can be approachable or they should be approachable um, for help from the human capital perspective. There need to be people that are respected meaning that they've, they've got to earn their respect rather than demand it. And there need to be people that are serious. In other words, um, maybe serious may not necessarily fit the bill here, but when we talk about being serious, we sh we're talking about being professional, being composed, held in high regard, by the organization and the individuals um, and the collective that's in the environment.